Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Anjum Sheikh. And in this video, uh, it's going to be just a small update about what's going on in my life. And I just want this channel to be very transparent. I want you guys to know about the struggles that I go through, the happy times that I go through, and also through every ups and downs in my life. Uh, genuinely, I did not shoot a lot of my downs because I thought maybe you guys won't be interested in that. But you know, sometimes it's just time to have that quick chit chat and you guys also to know that there are days when even I don't feel like studying. I don't feel the productivity in me. And, uh, you know, just trying to update you about my life. I have not been posting for the past six months and it has been difficult. It has really, really been difficult. I know. Uh, I just can't convey uh, everything through the camera, but I would try my best because, you know, I just want you guys to know that the life that we are living in is not always easy. It's not always the same. It's not always uh, beautiful butterflies. It's not always good things going on in our lives. Or sometimes you need to change the path uh, to, you know, also go to the destination that you thought about. It's not always that the destination would uh, be the same. Sometimes uh, it may change or sometimes the path, the different path would also lead you to the same destination that you thought in the first place. For me, I would just share a little bit about my life and how it has been throughout, uh, you know, my 23 years uh, on earth. So basically, uh, from the very start when I was a child, I was very much interested into sports. I played a lot of sports. I almost have to, uh, around 20 trophies uh, and around 60, 65 medals. Just hanging in the, you know, the TV uh, TV unit that we have in our hall. Or also here we have a small section in which I have all my medals. So, you know, I have always been that achieving child in the school. I was never good at studies. I was never someone that was actively like, okay, man, I'm going to make my career in studies. Maybe that. Or I was never the topper. I was never it. But I was always fascinated by these things. A lot of uh, things that fascinated me were the books. I like to write. I really love to write things, to understand things, to know, to, know, you know, to know the science behind things. That was something that was I was really interested in. So uh, after that, I just opted for sports. And till my uh, you know, 11, 12, I was uh, very much focused that I would make my career into you know, sports. I would be a national, international player. I'll play for India. I'll do X, Y, Z stuff. I, in sports also, I've played every sport. I've played handball. I've played football. I've played X, Y, Z. You just name the game and I have played it. You know, I was that much dedicated for sports. But then, uh, in the first year of college, I got to know that, you know, maybe sports is not for me. Like, I'm not the person that could make a career. You know, actually earn in sports. I thought that. So I was like, okay, I'll just rotate my, you know, focus towards uh, UPSC and PSC. So I started studying and I really loved studying. I really loved the books. I love to, you know, know uh, about the politics, about what goes on into running and country and what goes on into the parliament, into, you know, history, the geography, the things the about the world. I just really loved every, every smaller bit of it. I enjoyed it. And then COVID happened. So in COVID, I was, like, I was locked up. I thought maybe I'll just start a YouTube channel because I was really underconfident, uh, you know, student. I never was good at speaking. I was never good at conveying my thoughts. So I thought maybe I'll just make a YouTube channel and I, maybe I would, you know, gain that confidence. And right now I'm just speaking to a camera very fluently, very nicely. I love this. I always thought maybe this is something that I was born to do. And I did make videos for one, one and a half year. And I didn't expand my team. I was the only person working on it. I'm still the only person working on it. And I thought maybe... It's just going to a rut. I was like, I'm making, posting the same videos. I'm giving the same motivation. I'm doing the same thing. The same study video. The same reels. The same everything. I thought maybe I'm not too good at it. I really thought that. But, uh, you know, sometimes. Uh, uh, and after that, I just started declining. I just went uh, into a bad phase. And I thought maybe I'm not good enough. I'm not the best person to give advice about an exam. That, uh, you know, almost a large majority of people are preparing for. But I was really wrong because, you know, guys, uh, the messages, the mails uh, that I've got in the past six months have really changed my perspective. A lot of you guys have told me that you have you know, changed your study techniques. You have changed your daily routines. You have changed X, Y, Z things. I have not only motivated the UPC students, but also the students that are uh, actually just want to make or become a better version of themselves. So I just asked a poll on Instagram and a lot of people did comment for me to come back on YouTube. And I thought maybe 
if i'm actually motivating people to study and i'm doing a good thing why don't i come back on youtube so and that here i'm here for you to motivate you guys and also gain motivation for myself i know i'm not the best person in the world but you know i'm good at something i'm good at conveying a message and i really want to do it you guys are also worth it the main question what am i doing with my life am i still preparing for upsc mpsc or i have left the preparation the main question so no i have not completely left my upsc mpsc preparation because it is my dream and it still is but yeah definitely i have taken a step back because uh, the main the very important thing is i am 23 and i am not quite sure about what i exactly am doing in my life so right now i just took a step back and right now i am doing a corporate job as a social media manager uh, because i have a lot of knowledge in that domain i have few skills that i have learned in that domain that would help me get a job or just earn in this uh you know life uh for example right now i'm 23 years old so i definitely want myself to be independent enough to you know uh at least uh do my own expenses uh you know uh, taking care of the family is a very further part but still at least uh you know to earn money so i can feel independent on my own so you know that was one of the reasons that i thought maybe plan b is really important for me the plan b was always ki at least doing a job or starting my own business but right now i don't have that much funds or uh, you know experience to start a business so i was like okay if i'm getting a job i'll just uh, you know join there learn few things and just upgrade myself upskill myself and apart from it whenever i get time i do prepare for exams i do study because it's in my blood the productivity of studying is in my blood and i can't i can never leave it so definitely hands cross for it hopefully uh, definitely will complete our dream but right now you need to take few steps back and think about analyze about what's going on in our life just because uh, this is life we need to be practical we need to be uh, you know analyzing ourselves and seeing okay, okay what is best for our practical future so for me i thought this was the best option and i want us to be uh, transparent because you know everyone goes through a phase when it's like okay you need to figure your life out So okay i'm just doing that maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right but we'll figure it out together let's see how that goes uh but yeah definitely that's what is going on in the depa you know my what's my status wise uh but yeah that's how it is and i would definitely suggest all of you guys to have a plan b have something that you can fall upon learn few skills apart from our preparation because it is very important in this competitive world that you just don't rely on one single thing you need to have backups you need to have things that you can be like okay man i can do this if this doesn't work it's no i'm not saying it is not going to work it is definitely going to work because we are we have put our heart our blood and sweat into it but if it doesn't then we need to have something solid to fall upon so a backup plan uh, i have heard a lot of a lot of people say ki kuch nahi hota you need to just need to focus on one planning you don't need to have plan b because you are going to succeed in planning but it didn't work for me i i don't believe in that because i definitely think that stability is something that is very important we don't want to put all our foot in deep inside the water and then regret it you know just learn swimming first just a metaphor uh, but this is how you need to uh, move ahead with uh, so i think this is enough for this video i have talked a lot i think everybody that was interested to know about this what i'm doing what i'm not doing uh, every doubt must be cleared but yeah i'll be posting a vlog soon so a uh, very entertaining content coming up for you guys i really love you guys thank you so much for all the support if you are still till this part of the video just comment you know one thing that you actually feel is something that is troubling in your life and i definitely would try and help to sort those things out because i want you guys you guys are the reason that i'm back on youtube because i i have seen a lot of message and i'm so much motivated by it i'm like man if people are so happy with my content why am i not posting it so i'm back for you guys so if you have any you know uh, stuff where you're stuck just drop in a message or you can also message me on instagram i do reply uh, try to reply to everybody so that's something uh, just just comment something yaar yeah. i need your support guys i i genuinely want to make your life better i want you guys to do excel in your life and also Uh, figuring my life out so this channel from right now right now onwards is going to be very very transparent i'm going to share 
every bits and bytes of my life with you the ups the downs the corporate life the business life hopefully the start of life hopefully or clearing the exam that you would very 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 uh, hope hope that we do that also in future but just be with me i love you guys so much i hope uh, this uh, video has uh, help you learn something new or have a new perspective towards uh, the upsc exams or mpsc or competitive exams it's your life uh, see the bigger picture see the bigger picture of life where you are happy you need to be happy if you are happy do it if you are not happy don't do it it's a very simple funda just be happy just keep smiling and bring smiles to people's face right it's very important bring, bring make people happy that would eventually make you happy so yes i think this is it for this video i love you guys so much uh, i'll see you guys on next thursday or i'm trying to post it on sunday but let's see how that goes but i'll see you guys soon bye bye i love you